Welcome to These Are the Blades of Our Lives, the skating show where I talk to you about skating like it is drama for your mama. On today's episode, 2022 Olympic figure skating and how I think the judges will vote. In three days, the figure skating portion of the Olympic will be on its way. So before the games start, I thought I would look over the judging panels for each discipline and take a guess on how the judges are likely to vote based on where they're from, their connection to certain country, the deals that may or may have not been made, and all the other political shenanigans that are involved. Yes, in a perfect world, only the skating and the effort of the athlete would matter. However, We live in reality, and unfortunately, politics and backdoor deals are sadly a part of the game of figure skating. So taking this knowledge into account, here's how I think the judges will vote. Starting with the women's discipline, I mean, right off the bat, eight out of the 13 judges will likely vote for a Russian ladies trio sweep, no matter what. When you take the European countries and you add China to it, the chances of an all-Russian podium is more or less assured. The only European country that might vote against the norm is Belgium, since they have their own skater in Luna Hendricks that they would want to support. However, the other European countries like Finland, Austria, Azerbaijan, Netherlands, Estonia, Russia, Czech Republic they will all vote for an all-Russian ladies' podium regardless of the actual skating that takes place on that day. And since most of these countries, including China, they don't have a horse in the race, I feel like they're likely to vote with their allied, which in this term would be Russia. Based on the judging panel, I would say the Russian ladies' sweep is guaranteed. I mean, let's be honest, skaters from countries like Azerbaijan and Estonia are often born in Russia and train in Russia. I mean, the ties between these countries run so deep that there is no way these countries would not vote for Russia. So I think this panel and the women's discipline is very pro-Russia. Now, moving on to the men. Based on the men's judging panel, I would say that Hanyu has a slight edge over Nathan. The panel is mostly European, and I believe those judges overall prefer Hanyu skating over Nathan. Yet out of all the judging panels, I think the men panel is most likely to be fair in a, in a water skater that goes clean on that night. For me, the men is the most unpredictable, and I can definitely see an unknown skater making it to the podium. However, if they both go clean, I can see this judging panel going Hanyu over Nathan. The next panel is the pairs, which is also very Eurocentric. And as such, I think the Mera Masvina has a very good chance of having another Olympic pairs champion team. Based on the judge on the judging setup, the Russian pair of Anastasia Mishina and Alexandra Galiemov should have an advantage. However, Sui Hong Jen and Hong Kong are skating on home ice. If they go clean, the judges will find it very difficult not to give them a gold medal. So in that case, I think the home advantage may overcome the pro-Russian judging panel. And I'm just saying this because I'm taking a wild guess. I also felt like the judges giving Anastasia and Alexandra the world title last year was in preparation for Swain Hung to win the Olympic title this year. This is just my imagine going wild, but that's how I feel. I feel like if both team is clean, Sui and Hong and the PC should rightfully be the winner. And I feel like the judges will be motivated to go with them because of the home court advantage. 
And then finally, lastly, we have the Ice Dance Judging Panel, which is very pro team Marie France. The fact that the technical caller is a Russian judge may prove problematic. However, if everyone skates clean and it's up to the judges, I can see the judging panel going Gabriela Papadakis and Guillaume Cizeron over Victoria Sinitsina and Nikita Kasalapov. Having said that, I think a few countries may surprise us with their votes. I mean, while countries like Russia, Italy, Ukraine, Lithuania will likely vote for Vicky and Nikki, and countries like US, Japan, Great Britain, Spain, Spain, China, France, and Japan will likely vote for Gabi and Guillaume, there are some countries like Canada, Poland, and Germany who can go either way and tip the balance. I think Canada is the most questionable of the countries of the unknown voting. Let us not forget that four years ago, Didier tried to bury Tessa and Scott in his political games. The Canadian Skating Federation has not forgotten that. They may just go Russia when we last expected. Yet, even with the unknown players with these countries that we don't know which way they'll go, I think if they go clean, the panel will reward Gabby and Guillaume because they are so far ahead in terms of the other teams that will be competing here. However, I think overall the judging at this Olympic will be the most interesting and the most juiciest. Who is going to stay true to what their countries told them to do? Who is going to have the courage to go with the skaters on the night? I personally cannot wait to see it. But you guys let me know. What do you think? Do you think the judges are going to judge based on their own ethical moral core? Or is everybody going to do as they were told by their country? Let me know. Leave me a comment.